How do you say, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on uh, a lot of people that I, mean, I talk to Bitcoin, you know, when I talk to a lot of people about Bitcoin, they bring back the whole like, yeah, well, a large majority of your decentralized system is now mined almost centrally in China by very few organizations. What's the, what's the Andreas response to that? Well, the Andreas response is that in order to understand the consensus mechanism, you have to understand that there are five constituencies of consensus. And neither, none of them has complete control over the system. All of them have to agree. Uh, you have the developers, you have mining, you have exchanges, you have wallets, and you have merchant services. Now, if you're a miner and you decide to take your chain in a certain direction, and none of the economic activity follows you, merchants, exchanges, wallets, users, and developers stay on the other side, now you're mining a chain that has no economic value for Bitcoin that you cannot exchange, sell, or use to buy any products and services. So, really, there is a balance there. And in fact, one of the significant points of balance is that the vast majority of development, the vast majority of startups, and the vast majority of users are in the Western world, and the vast majority of mining is in China. That's a beautiful balance, because that means that not only does that mean that the Chinese miners can't take over, it also means that the Western developers can't take over. Uh, it creates a balance of power. I, I think that's a good system. Now, um, I don't think it's healthy to have all of the mining centralized. And I think there's a lot of centralization in mining, but as I mentioned before, I think that is an artifact of the very rapid increase, almost a million-fold in performance over a period of the last four or five years, from CPU to GPU to FPGA to ASIC, from, and from 40 nanometer down to 16. And now we hit a wall. And now when you have 2x every two years, that changes the system dramatically. Everybody slows down, and we're going to see a re-decentralization of mining, I think.